let's talk about combining filters and filter order okay all I got here is a tutorial let's add some filters you want to first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a desaturate filter then I'll just desaturate it looks like it's uh, pretty much doing what you want it to do yes I'll save this just to stop you from bugging me now let's add another filter let's add a border uh, let's add a bevel border there we go now we got this beveled ugly bevel border but I'm demonstrating a point I can take the width down a little bit I guess and let's give it a color let's make it an orange okay we'll make it as solid as we can the light angle and there we go now let's add one more we'll add a Gaussian blur now I want you to look at how this is affecting how the order is affecting things now Final Cut processes filters from the bottom up as you can see we have our Gaussian blur on the bottom and it's affecting everything it's it's blurring the bevel as you can see it's blurring the desaturate as you can see but the desaturate isn't affecting the bevel because the desaturate is above the bevel it processes filters from down up okay but now watch what happens if I switch the desaturate and bevel filters now the bevel is desaturated because the desaturate is below the bevel filter it processes again from the ground up from the bottom up so the desaturate is going to affect every filter that's above it okay so let's switch that back let's give you another example let's bring the bevel below the Gaussian blur now as you can see the Gaussian blur is affecting the video but it's not affecting the bevel because the bevel is on the bottom I know it's kind of confusing but it's very interesting and if you look at what's going on watch this video a couple times you'll see how Final Cut Pro processes from the bottom up and anything on the bottom affects everything above it um, anything below a clip is not affected by the one above it you know anything below a filter is not affected by that filter anything above it is if that makes any sense okay so now we have this these three filters um, what if we want to keep this and save it later for later well you just go to effect make favorite effect okay now if you go to your favorites folder in your effects you'll see there's a folder called sequence one filters open it up and there look at there there's all three of my filters now the problem is I'd have to go in and drag these in individually and I'm not even sure if it would remember my settings so what you want to do is let me go ahead and remove these filters from the clip drag this whole folder down onto the clip and let it go and boom there we go exact same settings exact same look exact same everything so that's filter order combining filters and making uh, favorite effects so you can use later if you have two or three filters you combine to make one interesting effect that you like and you want to keep it, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.